So if you're already uh, in uh, the chat, uh, we're gonna take a few minutes to let everybody in and get settled in. Meantime, I'm gonna disinfect my work surface areas. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So thank you everybody for joining us in the, another live virtual session. Um, I just wanted to start out uh, by saying that we are taking uh, social distancing um, in COVID-19, um, I guess, and, and making sure that uh, we're staying far apart from each other and following the local and state guidelines. Um, at, uh, there should be a chat feature uh, on Zoom that you'll be able to type in any questions during this presentation. And at the end, we'll answer those uh, out loud. Uh, for those of you that are joining us for the first time, um, we are going to uh, upload these videos up to YouTube, so please be sure to check those out uh, for a past session. Um, so I'm Emmanuel Verostegui, the Material Handling Specialist for the Ohio Valley Region. I'm just going to tell you a quick story about me before we introduce the new need chairless chair uh, that can be an ergonomic solution to your workstations. Um, so the story I have for you today is I don't know if you've ever been to an industrial trade show, but if you have, you know that there's a lot of walking, standing involved on concrete or maybe a matting. Um, so I've been to some and by lunchtime, if you get there early, you just wanna sit down and because your legs are just so tired and fatigued. So when we started doing trade shows ourselves and before we signed up with Nuni, um, we actually, um, uh, we actually, or I actually had to stand up and I was so fatigued uh, at the end of the day that I just wanted to go home and go to sleep. Uh, so whenever we signed up with Nuni, I actually started taking the demo device uh, with me uh, and I was able to sit down uh, during those uh, presentations. Um, so while we were waiting for some other customers or, or someone to come up and talk to us, I would be able to sit down uh, and relieve my, any strain from my thighs and my uh, knees. So at Rhino Tool House, uh, our car, uh, we have core values, and one of those is being highly productive and efficient. And trying to be productive, we set up these live demonstrations so we can keep our customers up to date on what's going on. Um, and today we're going to show you a highly uh, productive and efficient product called Nuni. So who is Nuni? They were started in 2014. Uh, it's a German-based company. Uh, with prototypes. By 2015, they actually got the support of Audi and they partnered together to bring you what you are seeing here today. So in 2017, they started mass producing uh, these products. Um, so what are the uh, key features of this product? So the first one and the uh, major one is that I'm easily able to change from the seated to standing to walking position effortlessly without uh, much of my muscles being used. Uh, the other portion of it being that it is flexible. So I'm able to adjust myself to a different user setting, depending on where that ergo model would be for my workstation. Uh, the other is the preventative uh, because it keeps me at an upright posture. So right now I am seated up uh, in an er a good ergonomic posture. So I'm not slouched over uh, I'm not actually, uh, so if I was actually working on the station, I'm not slouched over where I'm getting strain on my lower back, my legs, my knees. Um, I'm able to prevent any injury in the long term by using this. Uh, so what are the components of the new knee chairless chair? Uh, so first off, we have the seat pad up here, uh, and then it has some inserts, um, seat inserts that uh, this one for the version 1.0 uh, is made out of, um, a softer material. The version 2.0 has a gel pad, um, or actually this one's memory foam, sorry. Um, the other is the upper and lower uh, structure uh, that houses the nitrogen uh, cartridge inside. Um, and then that allows you to pull this lever and be able to uh, go up and down as needed, about a, a four inch difference uh, of where you wanna be seated. The other component is the slider so this allows you to go from a two foot radius of stability to a four foot radius of stability when i'm out here uh, it has the rubber boot uh, to keep it from sliding around while you're seated 
and then the uh, the ankle uh, bracelet there that uh, allows it to be able to be quite thin. So I'm able to easily take it off and then put it back on. So what applications is this device good for? Uh, we have a crude mock-up here of a sub-assembly station, uh, but others that, that are out there are low volume assembly lines. Uh, so heavy machinery that, uh, that you may be in this position, needing to work in this position around the hips, uh, maybe tighten and bolts, things like that. Uh, also maintenance. So in maintenance, you may have an industrial electrical cabinet uh, that you may need to do wiring in. And if it's lower, um, you may need to be positioned uh, in an improper ergonomic uh, posture. So you're bending over and that's affecting your lower back and also straining your legs and knees. Uh, so with this device, you'd be able to position yourself wherever you were doing that wiring a little easier and a little better. So who does this, uh, or what, who does the new knee chairless chair fit? So with any exoskeleton, we can fit the fifth to 95th percentile body types. This particular unit can go from about six foot four to uh, five foot four to six foot four. And that's just depending on the uh, user uh, torso to leg ratio. So you could be taller, and if you are more torso height than leg height, you would still be able to put this on. And also if you're shorter than five foot four uh, and you're more legs, you would still be able to use the device. Um, so the weight capacity on our version 1.0, the weight capacity is 286 pounds. Uh, while the version 2.0, because uh, it has a lighter frame, um, it only goes up to 265 pounds. So what's the weight of these devices? Uh, the first one it, uh, that I'm wearing version 1.0 is 9.6 pounds, but as I'm seated, it's actually being distributed down to the ground uh, through the leg structure. Uh, the version 2.0 weighs 7.4 pounds, or actually this is a 1.02, the version 2.0 uh, weighs 7.4 pounds. Um, so it's just a little lighter. Uh, you're a little more nimble while, uh, nimble while using it, so you're able to walk around. Um, so now I'm going to kind of show you uh, how this kind of would function if this was a, a true subassembly station. I would be the operator. I would come in. I would sit down. I could, you know, move in a little closer or position myself a little lower if I needed to, depending on what I was doing. So now I would be able to run down my bolts. And I'm not taking any room up uh, by using a stool or a chair uh, that needs to be or that would be in the way if you needed to get up, maybe get a larger part, bring it back, oops, sorry, and uh, sit down. So um, the lever actually has a memory setting. So to readjust it, you pull up on that uh, tab, and now you're at the highest level. So as you're pulling down, it's what allows you to go further down. Uh, and you can go, uh, for my user height, I can go from 20 inches up to about 25 inches off the ground at the highest level. Uh, so that's my, um, that's my settings that I can adjust to. So where has this device been successful? Um, and all of these are actually coming from Germany. So Airbus is a big one. Audi, uh, because they partnered up with Nuni, BMW, Daimler, uh, Mercedes-Benz, and then a company called Holder, uh, which is a tractor manufacturing company. Um, so now we're gonna open it up to any questions that we have out there. And Steven's gonna read them out loud and I'll answer as needed. Uh, I've got one here. Uh, can I use this for quality inspection areas? Can you, uh, I would say yes, as, uh, as long as it didn't have any ESD uh, matting restrictions, uh, you would probably have to put one of those bracelets on to make sure that there's no contact. Uh, just because it does have internal uh, steel structures inside of this, but the housing itself is made out of ABS plastic. Um, you do want to make sure that uh, the ground is level, uh, that there is no steps uh, or uh, inclines, just because we want to make sure that the surface we are seated at is flat and level. Uh, next question here from Doug. Uh, what about non-traditional uses like maintenance or controls? 
So yes, uh, I would say that uh, a control cabinet would be perfect for this application as long as, long as it wasn't too low. So it had to be a taller cabinet that you would have to be working on for an hour or two. Uh, and then uh, maintenance cribs, uh, of course, because a lot of the times that I go into a maintenance crib, they do have ergo chairs, but they sit right on the edge and just swivel back and forth if they need to get up. So they're actually in an imp improper ergo position while they're doing that maintenance on that tool because they're only seated on the edge of that uh, ergo chair. Is there any other questions? We'll give it a minute or two. Sorry, we, uh, we have another here. Uh, one of the members got in a little late um, what is the brand and what is the maximum supported weight? So Nuni, uh, Nuni is the manufacturer, the chairless chair is really what it's called. Uh, the weight capacity on the version 1.0 is 286 pounds. And then the version 2.0 is 265 pounds. It does have a safety factor of four to one. So it is tested for durability. Perfect. Uh, can this be used in surgery rooms for doctors? So we have had a doctor uh, look at the device. We have shipped him a unit. He is actually still trialing it. Um, it can be cleaned down with any uh, hospital disinfectants that you have out there um, because it is, again, ABS molded plastic. So it's pretty easily wiped down. The soft goods are machine washable, so you are able to disinfect. If you have an ozone cabinet that I'm sure a hospital would probably have, you're able to put the structure in there, uh, as long as it wasn't any wet conditions. Um, uh, what is the life cycle? So the life cycle of these devices is a million six hundred thousand. So they were uh, they had durability tests, and even after a million six hundred cycles, that they estimated would have about eight to nine years of uh, user life. Um, it still didn't have any cracks, or it didn't show any uh, stress points. And it does come with a two-year warranty. Uh, the version 1.0 will eventually be phased out, um, but there's still gonna be a replacement parts for about a year or so. Perfect. Uh, next question from Mike. Uh, do the feet on this unit have any issues tearing up ergonomic foam matting? So we would actually not recommend this product on foam matting. And why? Because that's going to make an unstable surface area. If you're leaning towards one side, it might sink in uh, and vice versa, whichever side you're kind of leaning towards. So we do have ergo matting that it is designed for, um, and that's Wearwell or Milligan uh, that we would recommend if you did have matting. Um, can you talk a little bit more about the cleaning process? Uh, the cleaning process, yeah. Um, so the outside structure, you would be able to disinfect. Uh, this is another component that's removable. Um, and these straps are removable. Uh, and they're, they can be machine washed. You would just need to let these air dry because it is a memory foam in there. You don't want to put it uh, too high heat. Uh, and that is a uh, these are consumable products. So uh, the life expectancy on these isn't as long just because they are machine washable. Uh, and it's something that you're going to tear up in the long run. All right, we'll give it a couple more seconds uh, for anybody with last minute questions. All right, I think uh, we're good. Thanks, E. Okay, uh, well, tomorrow we're gonna have uh, our repair portal uh, demonstration by Josh Smith, our service repair manager. Um, and then on Friday, we're gonna have our three-arm ergo assist arm uh, to showcase as well. So stay tuned, we'll see you soon.